Okay, this is Travis Wayne Goodsell, and we're going to start uh, with uh, Joseph Smith's father. And uh, believe it or not, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is not a primary source documentation uh, for uh, Joseph Smith Sr. Ideally, they would have the primary source documentation of Joseph Smith Sr., uh, but they don't. And so uh, we're going to start with the primary source material of Joseph Smith Jr. That's in the canon of the church that was put in here. Uh, it was in the uh, uh, Pearl of Great Price, and so it wasn't put in by Joseph Smith himself. Uh, this was uh, done at a later time, uh, and I don't have the source material for that information. Sorry. Um, all right, so we're going to start with uh, where he talks about his father, and it's in verse 3 of the church history, or the history of the church of Joseph Smith. And it says, I was born in the year of our Lord, 1805, on the 23rd day of December, in the town of Sharon, Windsor County, state of Vermont. My father, Joseph Smith Sr., left the state of Vermont and moved to Palmyra. All right, now this is uh, incorrect, or incomplete, rather. There's a lot of stuff that went on, but this is what we have, and if you just say, oh, well, this is all there is, this is all that we need, then you're, you're denying yourself the full account of what's going on with church history. And so we need to verify uh, this account of Joseph Smith's in the sense of finding out what was really going on in the state of Vermont, in Sharon, Windsor County, Vermont. Uh, and I'm going to have to stop, click over to uh, Google Maps, and then come back, and then I'll have to do it on my uh, viewer at the same time. So bear with me as I work through this. Okay, here's Sharon, Windsor County, Vermont. In its current day form, Google, I don't believe, goes back in time to show us what was available during there. I'd have to find some other source for that. But uh, it still remains as Sharon. Uh, you can see uh, right here, uh, the church owns this property with this Joseph Smith Birthplace Memorial Visitor Center. And... Uh, seems like it's right there on the edge so but uh, anyway uh, let's pull back <coughs> you can see still see uh, Sharon in the outlined red and uh, you know, Okay, and you know, we'll get to those other places in a minute. So this is where he lived. This gives you an idea of where it's located in Vermont. We can pull back out a little further. The uh, red thing here is the marker indicator. And so they don't have state, well, sort of. State divisions are a gray line, gray dotted line, sort of. All right. Okay, so there's Portland right over here that I just highlighted and turns blue from black. It's on the coast. And Boston down here. So this is where they were uh, living, according to what Joseph Smith tells us. And then we'll 
now go on to finding out uh, what he was doing there in, in Vermont. Okay, this is the Wikipedia site for Joseph Smith Sr. Wikipedia is not a primary source uh, reference. They're supposed to uh, have references put in by those who put in the articles so that we can find the primary source information. And uh, this is where Wikipedia sometimes falls short. Well, often falls short on this. So we have to be cautious when we're going through this. Uh, some of it, like his birth, I'm, we're pretty sure that that's accurate. I don't think we need to question that. Uh, I'm unaware of any potential bombshell uh, if we uncovered that it wasn't the actual uh, birth date and that the real birth date is something shocking and horrifying. And so I think we're pretty safe to trust this. The, uh, I can jump ahead and confirm that the church also verifies this, and they're most likely the ones who have put this information in here. Uh, and uh, we're not worried about his death date right now, but notice that it was 1840 four years before Joseph Smith Jr. died, two years after 1838, which will is a significant year in the church. Uh, notice that he was a Freemason in the Grand Lodge of New York. Grand Lodge is the York Lodge of England. And uh, that's different than the Scottish law, Rights Lodge. And uh, the other guy uh, was on my channel demanding to know the source material for uh, how uh, Brigham Young was from the, or his family was from the York Rite, or the Scottish Rites, and the Smith family was from the York Rites. Well, right here. Here's a confirmation of that. We can go to uh, the Ontario Lodge site, and they will confirm that, yes, Joseph Smith Sr. was a member of that lodge. There's also another uh, book that was published, uh, I believe in the late 1800s, possibly early 1900s, I'd have to confirm, that uh, goes over a list of, of those who are enrolled in Masonic Lodges in the East Coast of the United States. Uh, all right, so down to his early life. Uh, we don't, we're not concerned about uh, Massachusetts where he was born to uh, Asel Smith and Mary Duty, though there is some history that's involved, but like I said, we can't do all the history because we'd have to go back to Adam. Uh, and so that would be an impossible thing to do. So we're just going to start with them in Vermont. Uh, see here, Turnbridge, Vermont is where uh, Lucy Mack uh, and he were married. And so that's, that's why he was in Vermont at the time and we want to not waste too much time for you and they his early life skips out on what he was doing in Vermont uh, and uh, doesn't discuss Lucy Mack you'd have to click on Lucy Mack and click and go over to her page to get that information but uh, let's see uh, uh, here, uh, that's for when we get to Palmyra. He became a Master Mason on 7th of May, 1818. And again, you can look at the Ontario Lodge records that would confirm that. That's a primary source document. And so it's interesting. His children, Hiram, 
right here is spelled H-Y-R-U-M. Hiram was not always that spelling. There's a primary source document that has him listed as H-I-R-A-M. That is the spelling of the Freemasonic uh, 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 rites. Uh, in the Freemasonic rites, uh, which we will get to when we get to uh, Smith Sr. in Palmyra when he becomes a Freemason, uh, they have a ritual of Hiram Abiff, who is murdered. And his name is spelled H-I-R-A-M. Uh, and uh, Hiram Smith was named after that spelling. Uh, and, uh, uh, and there's other clues also that lend to Joseph Smith Sr. having a familiarity with Freemasonry. And Hiram Smith uh, was born in Vermont uh, before Joseph Smith Jr. And so uh, it would have been Vermont where uh, he would have still been familiar with Freemasonry if it wasn't in his birth home before he uh, met uh, Lucy Mack. And so, uh, uh, let's see, uh, 1820s, presiding patriarch, deathbed, descendants. Okay, it's not showing anything here. And so they just stop. We don't know any of, the, any of his religious beliefs or anything like that. And I don't see a link to it and so I'm gonna to have to stop and then go to that link because they're not showing it here and that's why uh, you, you have to do a thorough research and uh, that's how you identify other religions that are in the area and all that stuff Okay, I tried looking for the uh, church that Joseph Smith Sr. and Lucy Mack uh, were married in, and the Wikipedia site for Lucy Mack Smith does not indicate it either, so I googled it, and it shows the Joseph Smith papers, and I can find Seth Austin is the one who did this. And so I wanted to find out, well, which congregation was he? Which religion? And here we've come to the uh, Mormonism in the 19th century, which the uh, heading indicated had this information for me. And I should have looked for it first before I started the video. So bear with me. If I have to, I'll shut the thing down uh, and go from there. Okay, uh, Joseph Smith earliest confirmed. Uh, Brother Solomon Mack set up, born to Solomon Mack. Okay, I'm about to sneeze here. I'm going to look for it and then come back. Okay, I can't find uh, which church Seth Austin belonged to. Uh, he's located right here, and they're referring to a secondary source author who wrote about it. Uh, and, and so, uh, January 24th, 1796 is when they were married by Seth Austin in Tunbridge, Vermont. And uh, we're going to have to stop here because I've run out of time, it looks like. So we'll get to this other stuff down here with the Congregationalist Church. And down here, the New Israelites. So, this, see, this is going to take forever. <laughs>